as you've mentioned, Ramallah, it, it, it all encompasses the internet of things, which is going to include 5G technology to underpin it, which will ensure that the systems are super fast, are super capable, and all of the other stuff that we've spoken about with 5G. But the internet of things, it's, it's all related, smart cities to facial recognition, all of these things are related. And in Australia, we've seen such an increase, particularly over the last 18 months, that I feel that we are the, t the tip of the spear. I feel that we are the test model for Western nations to see if the Chinese social credit score will fly in a first world industrialised democracy. Because we see it all over the world. We've seen this type of technology before. But where has this happened? This has happened in countries like China, for example, like Russia, where, you know, they have highly oppressive regimes. They have people that have been trained through generations to be receptive to those things. But the big question is, how will the West react to these things? And Australia throughout the years, whether it be through anti-terrorism legislation, through biometric technology, We've seemed to be the test model for countries like the US, like UK, like Canada, to see how people react to the technology. And it's it's working very well in Australia at the moment. As we've just discussed before, facial recognition technologies are across the country. They've replaced passports with facial recognition in Australia. So you don't have to use your, your, your passport anymore. You just scan your face. Trains and public transport is going to be replaced with facial recognition. They're currently in the stages at the moment where they're, you can pay with anything, so your card, your smartwatch for, for public transport. And then the next phase in Sydney and in Brisbane, it has been announced, is going to be facial recognition. And when you think of the Chinese social credit system, what are the things that are underpinning it? China has over 500 smart city pilots currently active. China is banning people that don't fit within the, the appropriate social score. They're being blacklisted from traveling on planes. That's correct. That's the term, blacklisting. Yes, exactly. And, and this is happening. So when I see things such as this happening in Australia, where facial recognition is replacing all of these services, where biometrics are being developed, where smart cities are being developed, and of course the National Facial Recognition Database that we're talking about, it seems like we are headed towards um, a, a social credit system in Australia. And, and Australian media outlets are actually starting to report on that now. But it, a lot of people are, are concerned that it's, it's too late because the technology is already here. And Australia is heavily influenced by China. A lot of people don't realise that Unlike the US and the UK, we have massive Chinese ownership of our land and agriculture, of our energy, of our water, of our resources. China is one of the main countries that have taken over. They donate billions of dollars to political parties. They donate, their influences is rife through Australia, through universities, through social groups, through UN driven groups. China influences Australia heavily and what we're seeing is that influence start to come through tech and and it's it's developing before our eyes. And as I said, I think that we're the test model, Romola, for, for the rest of the world to see if Australia bends over backwards, just like we did with issues like gun control, how will that then influence the rest of the world? So it's very interesting. I know that was a big convoluted answer, but there's a lot to get out there and, and I think it's very important. Oh, absolutely. No, you've covered so much. Thank you for that response. I mean, it certainly seems like it. If indeed they're checking your face rather than, you know, your ticket or your passport when you get on a plane or when you get on a train in Australia, it certainly seems like one, that's a massive rollout of facial biometrics, you know, and two, it is part of that centralized national ID system that you're talking about, which makes it certainly easier for the controllers to move in the direction of the social 
social credit system. And you know what's really scary about that、uh, social credit system is that it's、um, in in China what they are doing. And by the way, it's very interesting that China has such a hold in Australia. I was somewhat aware of that, but had no idea that they owned so much land and you know your your energy companies, etc. I mean that's kind of eye opening, I think, to an American audience、um, that China has such a huge influence inside Australia.、Um, we understand that it's part of that world, that space, you know, the sort of the Indo-Pacific space、um, with China, Japan, Taiwan, Indonesia, Malaysia, etc., and、um, Australia、uh, ge- ge- geographically. But、uh, I don't think many of us totally understood geopolitically and economically that、um, China had such a huge hold in Australia. So that in itself is kind of eye-opening.、Um, but if that is the case, then it must certainly be as you as you spell out that it, there is every possibility that Australia will move in that direction of extreme、um, social、um, black blacklisting and censorship through the social credit system. And、um, the thing that I was going to say about、uh, that I found frightening about what China is doing is they are examining your political opinions, you know, as expressed in social media. They're examining the books you read. So you know. Count, mix all of that in with the constant camera surveillance, and we are then living in a state where you have no anonymity, no privacy, continuous recognition of who you are, and a continuous evaluation of who you are as a character and a personality. You know, as you grow and as you go through life, so that you are continuously being pigeonholed. And once you're being pigeonholed, you also become vulnerable to behavior modification, behavior, you know, enrollment in different programs and projects to direct you. This is the ultimate, you know, fascist,、um, plutocratic,、uh, controlled society that we're looking at, which is very much like Brave New World, as we talked about the last time, right? And.、Um, I don't know if you had a chance to read that article on、um, what's coming down the pike、um, for Australia and、uh, the whole world, because DARPA is behind it, and that is neuro surveillance and remote neural monitoring.